Child sexual exploitation is when young people receive something in return for them engaging in sexual activity. Often their reward can be things like food, accommodation, drugs or money, with perpetrators preying on their vulnerability. Prey is the right word. They will prey on them and they will be nice to them, to encourage them, to make them become their best friend or their boyfriend or girlfriend. And then it'd be, oh, do me a favour, can you just do this and do that? And then suddenly they, you know, they're, they're sort of trapped and it can get worse. I mean, they can be abducted and, and kept uh, purposely just for all sort of sexual means and things like that. So. The undercover child sexual exploitation tests were carried out by Thames Valley Police and Cherwell District Council at hotels and guest houses across Bicester and Banbury. Of the 12 establishments involved, nine of them failed. We take out um, somebody with a young girl, we go into hotels to test them and we try and book a room and they're supposed then to notify someone of their suspicions. If they don't, then they've, they've obviously failed. Um, and we would like it to be a 100% success rate. Difficult to get the perfect world, but you know, that's what we're aiming for. But they should really let somebody know any doubts at all. For instance, um, if you're working in a hotel and you see an, an older guy come in with a, a young girl, then that should ring alarm bells. If you see uh, somebody coming in with a girl that is obviously drunk, two or three men and one girl, and they're asking for one room. It's things like this which you know, really should ring alarm bells and you should phone up the council or phone the police and tell them. Now the police are working to make the correct procedures more known. In a statement, Sergeant Steve Willis of the Bicester Town Neighbourhood Policing Team said, Running operations like this allows us to practically test how local businesses react to a potential CSE and we can then use the results of such operations to help shape further staff training. We will work with the businesses that failed the test to ensure they check identification when an adult attempts to book a room with a child. As well as hotels looking for signs of potential exploitation, other establishments, as well as members of the public, are urged to look out for warning signs. Well, I don't think anybody wants to think of their children uh, growing up and being abused. I mean, I think that's just is every parent's nightmare for that to happen. So we have to all do as much as, as we can. This is not just hotels. I mean, uh, people in bars should be aware of uh, you know, a girl that maybe a boy that looks you know, maybe not uh, 18, somebody buying drinks for them, people in off licenses, having people come in and taking drinks out to, uh, to young people, young people getting into taxis with older men, things like that. So it's not just hotels. Hotels obviously are, uh, play a part in this, but I mean, we have to be vigilant. Police guidance on CSE highlights some of the things to look out for in particular. These include staying out overnight or going missing from home often, money, clothes, jewellery or gadgets they can't account for or afford, having an older boyfriend or girlfriend that you're concerned about, losing contact with family and friends, particularly those of their own age, and being secretive about where they go and who they see. Having a lack of self-confidence and talking to people online that they don't know can also increase their vulnerability to exploitation. More information about child sexual exploitation can be found online, but anyone who believes a child is at risk should contact the police directly. Charlotte Winfield for That's Oxfordshire.